get this show on the road. So, I'm going to be the very laziest here. Okay, so what we're going to be is a rogue. We're going to be a crappy rogue. And by crappy rogue, I mean we're going to be the scummiest goddamn rogue you ever did see. Because I really want to go see what that necromancer looks like. So, Shadow. Like, honestly, we're, we're going for the generic power run. I'm already doing fabulously. Absolutely fabulously. Actually, in retrospect, I think I have not played the rogue in, like... I, don't, I want to say, like, four or five runs? Could be wrong about this, but I did the question mark, question mark, question mark. I, I've done a lot of mage lately to see what the new pay, uh, changes have been and stuff like that. Not a whole lot of rogue. It's probably for the best, just because I do tend to, uh, well, scum this guy a little bit harder than I should, but at the same time. Nope! I don't want to go in my inventory. Oh, well, we are... We're already off to a fabulous start, and by fabulous, I mean fabulous. Okay. Take a look at what this does. Yeah, gold collector. It's not really, like, that important, considering. Like, uh, oh shoot, I'm trying to think. Like, nuclear throne, you, you really do want the, uh, the, like, magnetism upgrade. This game, eh, nah, nah. Not really at all. Anyway, so things we're looking for today, honestly, I'd actually really enjoy doing a uh, heavy punches rogue. Just because Heavy Punches is uh, probably one of my favorite items in the game. Or, you know, items? Uh, effects in the game? Just because it is so, so much fun. Comparatively. That said, I'd like to uh, I'd like to do, do a run that uh, is not just, I don't know, super underpowered. And currently we're taking a lot more damage than I'd like to. So, we'll see how this goes. Anyway, uh, gloves. Improved archery. I mean, the one thing I would like to do, and, like, people have asked me to do, like, a full archery run. The problem is, archery runs are just inherently problematic. Uh, the problem is, like, you don't get the proper perks for archery to, like, actually work. Until fairly lengthy period of time in to the, to the game. Because, like, ooh, wow, that is a lot of damage, though. Gotta say... Uh, so I'm definitely going to use and abuse this, but I don't think we're going to work. I don't think we're going to try and rely on archery at all. I'm definitely probably never going to go r do a run with. Uh, oh, what's the what's the archery perk called? Oh, hello. It's actually a secret. Does not have a pork chop, admittedly, but whatever. Not all not all secrets need pork chops. They're nicer with them though. Way nicer. Anyway, ah, uh, trying to think. I should probably put up my announcement videos just a little bit sooner in the future. Oh, hello. But then again, it's also odd to me that people would expect my stream to start at any other point in time in the evening. Okay, so we're going to head over here. Ah, where's a good place for fighting the dragon? We really don't have one. Well, he's gone. Alright. Uh, works for me. I guess I'll just peg him with arrows. But, like, usually I try and find, like, a, a stone block I can just kind of zip around. It's not working here. Oh, well. At least you can just scum them with it, your, like, natural... Bibbidi-boops. Trying to avoid taking any, any damage against the dragon just because... Hurts. And I've already taken a fair amount here. Thank you. Slight stone corner. Already protecting my ass. A little bit harder than I thought it would be. Anyway. Come on. Well, we're in a bad place. Just kind of hide over here. I don't think I'm in a good angle. Nope, not. Alright. Surprise! Run! It's Jefferson. Okay, yeah, no. I, I really enjoy fighting the dragon comparatively now. Like, originally he was kind of the scary one, comparatively, but, like, I've kind of learned that the dragon is predictable. The worm is predictable, for the most part. I mean, sometimes you can't exactly predict when it's going to pass straight through you. Oh, that sucks a bit. <sighs> Probably my fault for putting it on, but still. Uh, but, like, the bandit boss is the true scary one, because it's just, like, no telling where he's going. Anyway, let's craft the potion of strength. Not because it's, like, super necessary for us, but because it's kind of helpful. And we'll see how everything else goes. Yes? No? Maybe so? I haven't seen a fairy chick yet, so there's no guarantee we're going to have any extra healing for at least a little bit, but I actually prefer that... Thank you. Because that could have actually murdered me. Okay, through the door. I'm so glad that it made it, actually, so you could, uh... You could go through through the doors with the walk button. So let's take a look at this. 
Actually, that's not so bad. Um, effectively, it's plus two dexterity, minus one luck. That works for me. It's not the greatest of perks, but at the same time, it's not the worst of perks either. And there's, there's our fairy chick. Now, I believe dexterity doesn't actually increase our base damage at all, and I'm kind of hoping I can get an uncursed scroll just so I can put the improved archery back on. Because, let's take a look at what we got here. Sadness, mostly. Is that a boulder trap? I actually can't tell. There's like a thin gray line on top of one of those, and it's scary looking. Why? What's with all the gauntlets here? I don't even know. What is this, Dark Legacy? Uh, let's see what I want to do. Our health isn't bad, so I can actually afford some hits here. Alternatively, if I don't get hit at all this floor, I could actually sack the fairy chick. Which is, of course, kind of long margins, but still. Okay, no reason to go after that plant. It's a pain in the ass. Let's just avoid and hope for the best. Hey, -o. hey, Neo Mizaku. It is, Ma yeah, Mizaku. Neo Mizaku. Neat name. I don't know why, but it makes me think of a Gundam. Yeah, that's definitely a Gundam name. I, I don't think I re really, like, talk about anime that much in conjunction with the YouTube channel, but, like, I actually really do enjoy watching the occasional, like, big robot anime. Oh, freaking fish. Ooh, shockwave. Okay, so I'm just gonna, just gonna go over here. So shockwave is actually, oh, shoot. Well, this sucks. Come on. Hmm. Oh, right. Firing arrows underwater is a giant pain in the ass. There we go. Okay, ta <laughs> tactical rogue battles underwater. I don't even, I don't actually know if archery works properly. Underwater. I guess it would. There's no there's no reason to for the arrows to actually fly incorrectly. Let's just let them Oh no. Whew. Unfortunately, if I'm gonna talk about like anime and stuff, it's just not gonna work here. This game is too stressful for me to talk about big ro robots and stuff, which is annoying because like, come on, I wanna talk about big robots. I've been, I've been watching a lot of big robot anime lately, and it's just like, yes. Yes. Seriously, like, five, ten years ago, eh, more like ten years ago, anime was, like, super hard to come by in the U.S., at least as far as I know. Uh, and, like, now you can just go on, like, uh, Crunchyroll or Hulu, and it's just got everything, and you're like, well, this is a smorgasbord of the best variety. Looks like we got a mimic above the hole. Don't want to deal with him too much, but at the same time. Try not to piss off the worm. There we go. And keep going. Oh, we, pissed, we have pissed off the worm. Can confirm. Also terrifying. Of course, I don't actually know where he is. And I'm about to cough, which sucks. <coughs> I don't know why. I I almost never cough on camera. In fact, I'm generally not the kind of person that coughs, period. But today? Hmm. Anyway, let's just peg him with arrows. <sighs> okay, hello. Okay, let's see if we can piss off the, uh, let's see if we can p piss off the worm somewhere else that isn't directly next to the shopkeeper. Unfortunately, we have almost no good places to hang out and fight, but at the same time, we've got a wand of pestilence, and that actually makes the fight just ridiculously easy. So I think I'm going to err on the side of stupid and set, sack the fairy chick this run, because we've already cleared the floor. How do I get here? Blink? Nope. Trailblazer? Nope. Ugh, freezing ore is tempting, but still. Yeah, who would have thought that, uh, Wanderbot likes big robots? Hey, Wormscaper, how's it going? Okay, so we really don't want most of these. Do we? I'm gonna buy Blink, actually. We've learned the benefits of Blink along the way. I'm gonna hold on to them for at least a little while longer. Whether or not that's particularly a good idea, don't know. I'd love to go after that Mimic, but... Yeah, I got it! Sweet gold collector. Sweet mimic. Okay, so I uh, haven't found the treasure room yet. Or have I? I have. It's just all the way back over here. Right? It's not showing up. There it is. I don't know if you have to stop to get that to show up or otherwise. No, I think it just like flashes randomly. Alright, works for me. Well, what do you got? 
Random ass robes. The answer is hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. That's quite the ragtime girl. So that's jump. That's teleport. And that's actually all the scrolls we have. That is unfortunate, but I do have unlimited jumps now. So that is actually really nice. Because... I think it's about time for me to go be an absolute monster. What do you guys think? Boop! Oh. Hey, enough clicking around? Uh, welcome to the stream. And or YouTube channel. Hard to tell. Okay, so, sacrifice is appreciated. Let's not kill ourselves on spikes. Because now we've got a huge stat bonus at the cost of our soul. And, uh, well, off we go. This is going to get, uh, this is going to get interesting. At least we got the nice stat bonus from the beginning. Holy crap, our strength is atrocious. Oh, well. I'll figure it out. So we've got no way of decursing ourselves, but it's not, it's not the end of the world. That's for certain. Uh, let's see what I'm going to do. Why are there so many spikes? This place is just a nightmare and a half. All right, let's see if I can piss off this bat. Come on. Oh, wait, I'm stealthed. There we go. Surprise! You didn't think I could fly. Joke's on you. I'm the flying rogue. Now, what, what do we need right now? Uh, preferably, man regeneration would be awesome. That's a bit expensive. Uh, that would be amazing. Unfortunately, getting 70, 70, 77 gold in one floor is a bit of a tall order. We might make it, or we might have to assassinate a shopkeeper. Both of these options I'm not particularly keen on, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Let's see if I can get this slime to kill itself. Come on. Yeah. See, the, this is the benefit of having Gold Collector. Gold Collector just makes everything easy. Wow, it is just nothing but Spike City here. It's weird, and I don't like it. At least we got our little buddy. Unfortunately, hitting that... Okay, good. We got it. All right. Good. I, having gold collectors, actually making this just convenient across the board, because it's just like, all right, well, gold fell into the spikes. No problem at all. Let's just, uh... Wow, we really just lots of scum. Lots of shrines of scumming today, which I'm totally okay with. Sc the scum forever. Oh, well, that's my first damage. I'm hoping to avoid taking as much damage here as possible. Just because I'd prefer to have runs that go swimmingly. And without heal, well, the swimming does not happen particularly easily. Oh, well, let's see what we got over here. Looking for pork chops if I can find them. Hello, that also works. That also works very well. Now, they did nerf the Wand of Healing just a little bit. In and of the fact that you can't, uh, you can't use Wand Mastery so well with the Wand of Healing. Which, honestly, makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Damn it. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to avoid... No such luck. Oh, well. Uh, let's see what I'm going to do here. And we're still looking very very good as far as health goes. It's like, eh, a little bit of damage here, a little bit of damage there. It's not so bad. But I'd love to actually get a good dagger here. A good dagger of lifesteal. I have not had a run with a lifesteal dagger in a very long time. And I'm starting to really miss it. Man. If you could get lifesteal fists, now that would be the that would be the money money weapon. And I have not seen that money weapon in a very long time. Let's just flee for a second. Okay, there we go. Uh, you know what? We actually just did make enough man mana for the uh, projectile reflection, which is super encouraging. Did I say mana? I probably said mana. Oh well, either way. Let's see what else we got around here? Slimes are plenty. And that that guy. Then again. That's what stealth is for. So let's just not pop our head straight into him, and everything is golden. Everything is perfect. Everything is... Wait, no, duct tape is silver. Right, silence is golden, duct tape is silver. I don't know why, but I believe I actually got a t-shirt that had that. Well, that was an unintentional shot, but it worked. Uh, oh god. When I was in, uh, when I was in high school, somebody gave me a gift card. Hello. Well, it's not much better than what we had, but it works. Uh, somebody gave me a gift card for, uh, what was it, thinkgeek.com? Wow, just all of the suicide going on uh, over here. All right, works for me. Uh, but, so they gave me a, a gift card for thinkgeek, and I was, me being the kind of 
not exactly moody teenager, but the, the snarky nerd teenager that's like, yeah, I'm a snarky nerd, so I'm gonna get a snarky nerd shirt. So I believe I got that shirt, which, you know, in retrospect, was incredibly juvenile of me at the time. Huh. I wonder if he's gonna be able to get up here. Probably not. All right, let's go... Let's go see what I can do to his face. Boink! Okay, good. We did not set off the bloody. I hate it when I set off the bloody. Now, in retrospect, I have a... I had a bomb. Could have used that. Okay, time to leave. I'm trying to think of ways to scum this dude. First and foremost, we only have to hit and run him, which is nice. Got a lot of other stuff. Got a lot of other stuff. Wow, that was actually incredibly fast. Didn't even have to worry about it. Perfect. Because, like, this is why the rogue is the most powerful class. He just, he's, he's the only hero that can actually hit and run effectively. All of the other, all of the other heroes are just like, alright, hitting and running, you mean getting hit and running away, right? Not the rogue. Not today. Okay, so let's go back, let's get projectile reflection, because as it stands, we really could use that once we hit the catacombs. It's not super, well, not the catacombs, it's uh, really useful in the forest and pretty much nowhere else. Uh, to be quite honest here, but at the same time, it works for me. I'm trying to think. Like, if it reflected wisps, I think I'd be even happier with it. But then again, that might make it a little bit OP. Really, it's just good for getting rid of uh, wyverns. And the occasional, like, damage avoidance against the wisp boss. That is that, oh, not the wisp boss, the uh, golem boss. That is, that is the killer at all times. I do not like that, getting hit by that boss. Actually, it was, uh, for the first time ever, weirdly enough, I do not look at the discussion pages for this game, but, um, uh, for the first time ever, I was actually like, you know what, let's go take a look at this, because Satari was like, hey, you should go take take a look at this, because, uh, I, I reposted a lot of, like, your thoughts or our collective thoughts on how to improve this game, and I was like, yeah, yeah, that's actually a really good idea. And I looked, and one of the, one of the people there was actually talking about, like, making it so the golems didn't instantly kill you when they stomped on your face, and I was thinking about it for a while. And I thought about it some more, and then I was just like, eh. Because, like, the reality of the situation is, you know what? Golem comes hurtling out of nowhere, stomps on my face. Guess what? I'm a, I'm a gonna die. There's not much to it. Now, the one problem with the thief, like so. Hmm. Well, that sucks. That kind of works, but at the same time, we don't have much mana. Uh, the one problem with the Thief is you're really bad against the Wisps. Like, the Warrior is amazing against Wisps. Thief, not so much so. I mean, you got you got a fast attack, so that's good. But that said, the Thieves' major strengths do not lie in uh, Wisp removal. Okay, so these, wiv these Wyverns are... Oh, they're Harpies. Well, I don't know why I call them Wyverns or Chimera. They're neither. But I do call them that. For some mysterious reason. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're really good at, at plant removal and harpy removal. Above, like, all of the other enemies. And, I mean, golems, you can kind of... I'm not going to say you can scum golems particularly well, but at the same time, they're a lot easier to get around when you can shoot them with goddamn arrows. Oh, hello. I'm kind of not going to avoid that, but still. Uh, let's see what else we get around here. Now, putting points into uh, acrobatics might not be a bad idea, especially if I got infinite jump. Being able to latch on a wall and avoid taking falling damage would be super useful. Well, let's see. Probably not going to take falling damage here. Perfect. Oh, those guys have exactly 15 health. Or so. I'm going to try and piss this wisp off. You know what? Let's, uh, let's take the battle to them. All the way up here. Nobody can fight us here. Uh, yeah. There we go. Now here's the problem. Getting back down. Kind of hard with infinite jumps. Like, infinite jumps is a lot easier to time when you're not falling or hurtling towards the gun. It's really easy to time if you got feather fall. Oh, I only did two damage to it. That is bad. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Uh, anything else? No. Like, you'd think at this point I'd have perfect mastery of this game. I don't. I don't think I ever will. Maybe when we're at, on episode, like, two, three hundred or something like that. Like, I've actually been thinking about it recently. 
uh, you know, the various games I play and how many of them reach, you know, 100 episodes or something like that. And, like, this game is definitely going to reach 100 episodes. Binding of Isaac is probably going to reach 100 episodes, just because Binding of Isaac is such a monolith in roguelikes. And the variety in Binding of Isaac is just absurd. Uh, but, like, as far as... Oh, hey, we found the boss. I'm actually going to leave him alone for a second. Let's go take, a, take out the other plants. Just kind of clear the area. Um, but so... Like... This game's gonna get up to well past 100 episodes. In fact, I think this game's going to get into the two 300s. Uh, given this rate. And like... Ah, tits. Okay, there we go. Uh... Especially because this game probably has quite a while before it's done being developed. And... There's also, you know, a lot to be said about the online multiplayer section once we get there. Because, oh man, I cannot wait to play this with friends. Because let's just plonk him down for a second. And then flee. Okay. That was mostly bad. Probably could have just pegged him with an arrow, come to think of it. I don't even know where he is. Now I know where he is. I really hope I can get a magic quiver here. I think that would be useful. Let's uh, think about what we can do to take care of these golems. So I don't want to use the lightning wand. Ah, oh, but you know what I do have? Surprise! That probably not really worth it. Oh, well. Unfortunately, we've got, like, two golems hanging around down here. And that's never a good sign. I think that was actually the thing that ruined my previous run. In a way. So let's, uh... Play it super risky. Yep. Actually, surprisingly risky. Magic Quiver? No Magic Quiver. Unfortunately, the boss could get pissed off at any moment, and then we'd have to fight two golems and a boss, because he'd totally pop just straight down here. That's not a good sign. Boink. At least their reaction times is kind of crap. We would not be able to fly with this come uh, New Game Plus, though. No way. No how. Yeah, because it... Unlike most other enemies, golems in this game are actually kind of slow to kind of react to you. There we go. And so, you know, like the Spriggans will just immediately start blitzing straight away from you. There we go. Huh. Killed them almost simultaneously. Sort of. Like the Spriggan Spriggans will just immediately run away. The... Oh, hello. Pork chop? Hmm. I want to go stabbing too much here. There we go. Okay. Don't want to waste the pork chop yet. Eh, you know what I can do. I don't want to waste too much health here, but I can totally just scum once. There we go. Resilience. Eh, works for me. Uh, damage reduction is always welcome, especially because I think I have some amount of negatives. I don't even know. But really, by the time we make it to the catacombs, I'm going to want to be able to... Uh, Avoid most of those hits, because they actually powered up the, uh... What would they power up? They powered up the mummies, annoyingly enough. Anyway, let's take a look at what we got here. That's just a dexterity and strength. What's our poison resist at? Is it one? It's one. Damn. Because if I had a higher po poison resist, I'd be really happy about this situation. I don't know. I also don't have any curse... ...removal. Which is kind of annoying. That said, that is a goddamn amazing wand. Wow. That lightning wand would be killer on a... on a mage, come to think of it. Oh, well. Please be decurse. You're not. Good. Alright, uh, let's... I mean, let's clear this room, seeing as we've got it here. Here's the question, what do we do with the boss? Actually, I know exactly what we do with the boss. Bum rush! And then run. Bye. Because that's a golem coming for me, and I do not want to be fighting a golem. And a boss. Oh, hello. Okay. I actually didn't even notice the, uh, golem there. Am I going to be doing Endless Legend tonight? Yeah, I will be starting, uh, Season 2 of Endless Legend, I think, tonight. I think that would be a lot of fun. I've really been enjoying Endless Legend. It's, yeah, I mean, it's effectively the perfect strategy game that I've played thus far. At least one of them. Oh, God. Okay, here's where we get to the concerning bit, where that golem comes in here and murders my face. Oh! Balls! Come to think of it. Boink. Yeah! Thank you very much. Scroll a goddamn teleport. I'm just gonna snipe a couple of these out of existence, and he's coming for me. Luckily, the boss is now within arrow range. 
And now he's within uh, Omnom range. Okay, there we go. Let's just... Bum rush! Our bum rush damage is atrocious. So in that case, I actually gotta... I gotta... Gotta call the stops on this one. Just because I bum rush him too much, we're probably just gonna die. Oh. I'd say I'm committed, but I'm not. Man, those infinite jumps really do make it a lot easier to get away from, like, everything in this game. It is so convenient. What else do we got around here? Where'd that golem go? Oh, right there. Wow. Already dead. Don't even remember doing that much damage to it, but alright. Works for me. Works for me. So I'm hoping I can get heals somewhere along the way here. We do have a wand of healing, which is tempting. What we need is the ability to somehow hot, uh, saw off our wrists and go get a uh, decur scroll or something like that. Because I am carrying around so many gauntlets, it's not even funny. And one of them has got to be good. But I have no idea how many. So that's uh, actually a pretty good wand of healing. What else do we got here that I don't need? That. What are you? Gold collector also, but bad. Worse, worse than the one I already have. By a very small margin, but still. I kind of wish having like multiple... Ones, uh, multiple of those would actually work out in my favor, but no such luck. Okay, so let's think about what we have right now. We have a bunch of gauntlets. I should probably go see what they do. See if any of them are cursed, mainly. Wait, we know we know this one is uh, effectively useless for us, given the situation. Next stop. Okay, nope. Uh... Unfortunately, I can't put it on, so I can't actually see what the effects are, which is frustrating. Yes, I could use one of those scrolls of identify, but that's kind of what got me into this mess. Actually, no, it's kind of the exact opposite, but at the same time, I'd like to save them. Okay, so... Let's pop down here. I should have enough... Oh, right, we also have these tunics. You know, the reality of the situation is, these stats are just way too good, and the effect is way too good. So, oh, unless it's spike protection. In retrospect, I sh probably should check that out. Okay. Well, let's get rid of our shortbow. There's no reason for me to ca be carrying that around, is there? Or the Wand of Blink. Neither of those are going to be useful for us in the long run. So let's go see if the any of these are cursed first. Because I do not want to put on cursed equipment. But if I can find spike protection, that's probably going to be better than infinite jumps. Especially on this character. The only thing infinite jumps is probably going to be useful for is uh, the Wisp. Actually, it's going to be a pain in the ass to fight the Wisp without infinite jumps and feather fall, just because of, well, we can't block. Therefore, not so good. Anyway, uh, neither of these are bad. Okay, so neither of them are good either. Do I have inventory space? Doesn't look like it. Okay, that is a shame. I really wish you could, like, hack off your wrists or something and then heal away from that. That is way too gruesome and not exactly what I'd call productive. But I do, I do not like having these gauntlets on. If they had a cool effect, sure, but as it stands, no. Okay. Let's get rid of this armor. Not a wit. Do I still have the... Here we go. Here's the other junk that I don't need. Come on. Give me something. Give me something I want to I want to enjoy. Nope, nope, and there we go. Chances are completely worthless. Oh right, I should probably sack the other thing at the very least to get it out of my inventory. By wand of blink. I know the wand of blink is like supposed to be useful, but except for maybe getting your ass out of a uh, out of a trap, it's not particularly high on my priority list. I'll be quite honest. So let's grab the other two pieces of junk. Actually, that's the extent of what I can do. Now, I'm not keen on the crossbow, but if it's a really good stat stick, and it's not, then it'd be worth it. Okay, so let's pop over here, just toss the bomb. <laughs> Fortunately, my inventory. I, I really wish you could expand the inventory system in this game. Uh, or at least, you know, items that you've equipped do not take up your slots, because I'm spending all of this time just ferrying items around just to toss them on shrines and whatnot. I feel like I'm wasting my time. This is part of the reason why I almost never do it. Because half of the stuff that we get along the way is just worthless. You know what? Let's just use one of these. 
Yay, underwater breathing! Sweet, I'm a goddamn fish. I really actually do hope they add a water level to this game. Like, um, somebody mentioned it, and I want to parrot it, parrot it along the way here. But I, I think this game would be much cooler if you could do the, um... So let's just toss it there for a second. Toss everything all over the place. I really wish uh, this game did kind of the Tower of Guns thing, where there's, like, multiple level tracks you can go through, because I think it would be really cool if you could actually go to the water area, if you have the adequate equipment. I think that would... Oh, shoot. We've already burnt the shrine out. All right, well, let's just toss all the junk that we don't need. Goodbye, all of that stuff that I do not like. Hello, helm that I'm probably going to replace as soon as I'm able, and lightning wand that I'm probably... Wait, no, I know exactly what I'm going to use the lightning wand on. Okay, let's get out of here. I've spent way too, too much time on this level as it is. Hmm. Thanks, Sunday. Thank you for your support. I sound sarcastic for saying that, but, like, seriously, uh, every once in a while somebody will, like, show up on the stream. Uh, in this case, Sunday Uni XX, and... Oh, just everybody and like anytime anybody shows up oh boy spiders uh i'm like I, uh. <laughs> words words are hard especially when you're poisoned please golem do not come flying out of nowhere just to ruin my day probably gonna happen instead spiders all of the spiders all of the oh shit that does a lot of damage well this sucks a bit hmm I really do not like spiders. At all. Ah, how much health do they have? It's like 25 and I only do 5 damage at a time and my... I have taken more damage from spiders than I have from anything else this entire run. Ain't that a jerk. You know what I should be using these scrolls of identification on? These. There we go. If I can find a book of heal, everything... All the gloves are off. That said, chances of me finding one, eh, a little bit harder. Okay, so you going to be a pain in the ass otherwise. Oh, hello. Time to leave. Okay. Whew. Thank you, Infinite Jump, for providing multiple avenues of escape. But yeah, every once in a while, somebody will come on the stream, come to watch, and like... I, unfortunately, like, I, I I say this frequently, but, like, I play a lot of really high-stress games, so it's very hard for me to respond. But if I ever give, you know, just kind of, like, a cursory shout-out, you know, uh, thanks for hanging out, thanks for your support, thanks for everything like that, I truly do mean it. And, like, if you ever catch me when I'm playing something a little bit slower, I'm thinking Cavern Kings. Uh, you can get me to be a lot more sen sentimental about this sort of thing, but, like, this game is pretty goddamn hard. Oh boy, this is not a good position to be in. Ow. Got hit by the arrow. And then the feather. And guess which one does more damage? At least I got a bunch of... Yeah, you know what? Like, I'd love to put potions... In, uh, potions... Points into acro... Well, I've never seen that before. Well, that's useful. Oh, okay. What? The dicks? How did he... What? I've never seen that before either. Getting hit through a goddamn wall. Or floor. Well, I guess it paid the iron price in that wrong way, but still. Works for me. I don't actually know what we're fighting here. Golem boss, probably. Come on. There we go. I don't actually want to go after... I don't... Well, yep, it's golem boss running around down there. I don't want to go after most of the things. This is a... Kind of shitty run, comparatively. I really want to get that... Scroll of D curse along the way here. Because if I can get that, I'm good. What is my favorite rope like? Honestly, right now, this one. Like, just hands down, this is probably one of the hardest games I've played in a while. And, like, I haven't played, uh, what's it called? Is it called, Cru no, Chalice Mode. I haven't played Chalice Mode in uh, Bloodborne yet, but I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to call that a roguelike yet either. Uh, Tower of Guns is, like, the contender for the other one. Unfortunately, Tower of Guns just does not have the variety that I think it needs to survive. But at the same time, I, I think this one currently easily takes the cake as far as favorites go. Now this is a bit of a mess. Hmm. Can they jump? No, but they can fall. This works. Now can a golem kill a golem by falling on a golem? 
Turns out, no. That sounded almost philosophical there. Hard to tell. Let's see if I can piss them off a little bit more. Yeah! Come to me, bitches! I got shitty little arrows. Oh god, they can come, they can follow me here. They can follow me many places that I do not want to be. Okay, so let's just escape and hope for the best. Uh, let's just... Boink. Okay, so we've hit Captain Concerning mode. But I should be fine. I really would like to find a scroll of decurse along the way here, because you know what? I'm getting sick and tired of wearing these crappy gauntlets, and we have yet to find one, which is kind of a problem. Okay, so the golem boss is having a hissy... Oh, shoot. I don't actually did not actually pay attention to where those other golems went. That is kind of concerning as well. That should be fine. Come on. Scroll? No scroll. We found the perfect place to fight the golem boss, assuming we, the, we get the chance. He brought friends! I think head stompers would be quite convenient given the situation too. Okay, so now he's coming down here. Maybe needs a little bit more encouragement. But all right. Uh, well, this sucks a bit. Just a little bit more. Okay, you know what I can do? Probably approach him this way. Oh, I found the shopkeeper. Hmm. Getting him to fall down is such a pain in the ass. Nope! Let's, uh, rethink the situation. So I really don't want to fight him here. I can, but I really do not want to. Well, at least he's poisoned. Which actually does a surprisingly large amount of damage to him. Bonk! Okay. Oh, shoot. Wait, the shockwave doesn't hit the shopkeeper. Alright, well, let's just keep plaguing the boss. It's gonna take forever to take him out, but it works for me. I don't have a wand of digging. I don't really have a whole lot going for me here. And you know what? If we have to fight the shopkeeper, then I'll accept it as hubris. Uh, let's speed this up a bit. Where's that lightning wand that I favor. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. Whew. I'm just going to back away from this a little bit. See, the problem is he's probably going to drop in there and kill the shopkeeper, which I'm less than thrilled about. But I really do not have a whole lot of options here. Okay. Uh, Come on, infinite jumps. You're saving me so far. This is not a good place to be, but this is the place I have to be. Come on. At least I don't actually have to directly hit him, which is kind of nice. Okay. Whew. I'm going to get, like, this massive callus on my thumb by the time I'm done with all these roguelikes. Like, seriously, I, I am button mashing like a champ. Got him. All right. And fudge. All right. Well, whatever. That's what this thing is for. Might as well waste it. Might as well get some of those scrolls of recharge out. There we go. So let's de-equip all of... Th I'll keep Plague around just in case we run across something particularly painful. Uh, these are Jump. This is Teleport. Oh! No, 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 no. Fuck that shit. Come to think of it. Boink. Did that kill it? Did not. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's go for the shanky shanks. <laughs> One damage. Go figure. Oh, right, because plague doesn't actually kill things. All right. Works for me. So let's go get that key. Or poison, do poison doesn't kill things. It leaves them with one health, which is kind of insidious. And I haven't checked the shop yet, so that that is also a problem. And more gloves. Yes! I have all of the gloves in the world. I could open up a, a, the whatever the glove equivalent of a haberdashery is. I keep asking myself this thing. And I honestly still do not know. Anyway, let's grab a potion of magic. Hopefully it actually goes into our inventory. Turns out I don't have a single one of them. Good. Great, even. Uh, oh, that's probably recharged. There. Yeah. Still no decurse, though. Defac. 
Okay, do we have anything else here, or am I actually clear for the floor? We do have a couple of golems down here. I don't actually know where they went. And I find that a little bit concerning. I said a little bit, not... Ooh, hello. Can I hit them with this? Yeah, I can. I forgot. Shockwave is goddamn amazing. Like, loads of damage. Way more damage than I expected from an attack. And that works for me. Should probably give myself a little bit more room. I don't really have that. So I'll, I'll take out one or two. But at the same time, like, Shockwave is actually going to be really quite amazing. For not a whole lot of situations, unfortunately. That said, it's a good opening move. There we go. Okay, unfortunately we still do not have a single scroll of Uncurse. And we have one, two, three, four... We have four sets of gauntlets in our inventory that I would like to figure out what they do. Because one of them might be amazing. And it's starting to make me a little bit cranky that we cannot put on a single one. Oh well. We'll figure out how it goes. Okay, so, acrobatics, now we get uh, wall climb. At this point, I'm probably going to have to switch over to... I'm going to have to switch over to... Uh, what's it called? Strength, purely because... Without it, we're not going to be able to do at any damage whatsoever. Okay, there we go. You're not a secret, are you? Well, you're not a secret... Wall! Damn it! Fuck. Fuck. I really hate spiders. Like, in life, and in this game... My, my dislike and disdain for spiders is infinite. And unfortunately, I'm going to start... Oh, wait, no, I've got underwater breathing. Fuck yeah! Unfortunately, so do the enemies in this game. I kind of wish you could drown enemies, because you know what? If I am susceptible to drowning, so should you be. So you should be, too. There we go. Words. Words are hard. Most of the time. Okay, so here's the problem. I don't know if I have a single scroll of Featherfall in my entire arsenal. But now would be the time to check. Come to think of it, have I found it? Yes, I have. Okay, good. So we got Featherfall. Why Featherfall? Because we're going to be... Hey, boots. I don't think I have any boots. Do I? Nope, I don't. Why one of Chaos? Hello, Greaves. Floor phasing. Meh. I mean, it gives me one defense. I guess I'll kind of call it a yeah. Damn it, these wisps are persistent and frustrating. Okay, well, whatever. Still no scrolls of decurse, though. I'd be... I'm going to be really sad if it turns out that I actually have... Uh, you know, if I actually have a scroll of decurse in my inventory. Hey, we find some, found some more boots. Goodbye, shitty boots. Hello, questionably less shitty boots? Oh, hey, Featherfall. All right, well, I mean, the, the combo ain't great, but it's going to save me some potions along the way. Stop it with your wiggly bullshit. It's not cool. Not cool at all. Okay. That works. Sort of. Oh, this is a mess. Because i got to get those archers out. The archers are kind of annoying because they're kind of the death of mobility, and the chimera are just pure death. Harpies. There we go. And it's costing us a bit of mana, but since we don't have heal, it don't matter. Do it. No, don't. Yeah! I really enjoy bows in this game. Bows in this game are a lot of fun. Okay, so let's just, uh, let's just kinda... Boink! Nope. Pointed in the wrong direction. Still pointing the wrong direction. Alright, that is the best. Come on. Nope, never mind. Less on the pew pew, more on the... Nope, not even QQ. Just mostly just the, like, where the hell am I going? Anyway, so this is working out. We've taken a little bit of damage, but it's not so bad. I really, really want to find that scroll of decurs, though, because the problem is uh, we haven't found a whole lot of items here, in fact. Like, all of the items we've found this entire run have pretty much been gauntlets. Uh, we just found our first pair of boots, like, five seconds ago, which is pretty sad. And then I found, I mean, the second pair immediately after, but still, it's... Not exactly what I would call the best of itemization for our character. Now, he's probably going to hop. Never mind. I forgot these guys have, like, the worst memory in the world. Which actually works beautifully for me. 
do kind of wish there's somebody else that I could hit with this, but still. Hey, he actually knows I'm here. That hurt. Golems hit real hard. That might be it. That might be it. Come on, D-curse. Please be D-curse. Want nothing but D-curse. I might actually... Light brown scroll? Ch chances are good. Chances are great. I can do it. Magic mapping. Fuck. Alright, well. Uh, I mean, it's like... It's not the worst, but it's... Oh, come on. Give me a D-curse. Seriously, just one. Just one. Hey, we found a Mimic, though. Like, we're gonna have a lot of cash by the time we leave this floor. Hell, I could probably scum once and just heal back up as a result. Or... You know, as a result of having all this money. Also, hope I actually get a dagger here. I have not found a single one. Damn it. It's too busy focused on him. And him. Interestingly enough, the arrow trap did not set off. And we get another Wand of Chaos. Which are always interesting. <laughs> okay. Well. Could scum now, but I think I think I'm gonna wait. I've got a I got a wand of healing anyway. There's no reason why I can't wait on the scumming. Plus we might not even have a uh shrine of light along the way. Hey trend, how's it going? And Robo Robo Bear. Oh that's that's actually Kind of neat. Unfortunately, I do not speak Leet speak that well. Not exactly Leet, but like, I don't know, whenever anybody puts like a, a number into their name, it just screws me up to no end. Come on. There we go. Oh, right, you're supposed to press A to stab faster in the water. Come on. This is the stabbing zone. Welcome to my little stabby corner. There we go. And... Oosh. Okay, good. Good. We're doing fairly well here, oddly enough. Now, here's the question. Will Shockwave hit the Mimic? It will. It Not only will it hit the Mimic, it will just instantly kill it. That's useful to know. <laughs> okay, let's see. We've got multiple scary things in here. Like that golem. Like that everything. Okay, cool. Oh, boy. I was kind of hoping to avoid that, but at the same time, we've got 278 arrows. This should be a non-issue. Okay, so let's see what I can do. I've got the Wand of Lightning if I really want it. Uh, at the same time, that might be really useful. Oh, you know what we do have. There we go. Come on. Hmm. Can I hit him? I can hit him. Perfect. Of course, the moment he does that stupid ass send all of the wisps at you thing, that's the time for me to run. But still, wow, we've actually done a surprisingly large amount of damage to him. His hitbox is massive. I didn't even realize it. Yeah, it works for me. Might actually just be able to take him out without having to resort to flying bullshit here. That's cool. Usually I have to rely on the the stupid featherfall tactic just to just to be able to take him out. Turns out not today. Anyway, that's actually only what twenty three arrows. Yeah, there's only twenty three arrows. I think. Sweet. Okay, so what's this amulet do? Uh, do I have identify in my inventory? I do not. I am out of those. All right. Well, that sucked a bit. That said, that's what these are for. Not cursed. Okay, now I know one of these gauntlets is new. You know what? I can probably just toss all of these up, can't I? It'd be interesting if they all melded into one gauntlet. Okay, so I'm just gonna assume they're all safe. Unfortunately, I still cannot put them on. If I could find D-Curse somewhere, I would just be so happy. The one item I just put on without thinking about what I'm putting on. And it's cursed and very frustrating. Okay, so we find a spear. Actually, that's not so bad. Uh, let's see. So we can put this on. On. It's pretty good. It's a lot of defense, honestly. Our defense is through the roof. Our strength is not, though. 
Our strength is atrocious. Uh, let's see what I can do. Not much. Is that it? No, that's not it. Let's just teleport. Well, let's see what the spear does, seeing as we're here. Because you know what? If it's a good spear with, like, lifesteal on it or something like that, I might actually consider it instead of the dagger. Then again, like, I do have that one wand with, uh, mana steel on it. Except for it's, uh, healing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, that's... The problem is mana steel is uh, effectively meaningless for us as well. Because I don't have heal to get the full effect on it. So I'm just going to get rid of that for the time being. Because this spear's not going to be any better. Now we got this guy. Oh, right. You can cast spells from the, the safety of stealth. I forget about these things sometimes. And these are things that are worth not forgetting about. All, thi all things honest here. Okay. Come on. Before he just hops up and stomps on my face. Never mind. Alright. Well, I'll just keep chain lightning in. For two damage. Cool. Anything else around here? No scrolls of D-curse. Yes. The best. And we have many friends. Many, many friends. I don't even take damage from these guys. I don't take damage from anything. Alright, so we're going to the catacombs with that same set of gauntlets that we've had this entire run. Uh, let's think. Health? Nah. I'm probably going to need it more than I'm... Uh, need the healing more than I'm going to be able to... Uh, Offset by scumming. 